Hey, happy day, fellow math teachers. I, uh, using the money that was promised us that I'll get reimbursed for eventually, I got this, um, uh, here you can see it, the Artist 12 Pro XP Pen. And I and I went up to the 12 Pro. This thing costs about $260 with tax. Um, and here it is right here. Um, it's got 11.6 inch screen, which already I find to be plenty humongous. I know some people were buying larger ones. I don't know, some people bought them. I don't. If you haven't bought one yet, I don't know that you need a larger size than this, but you can get what you want. But um, I'm, I started playing with it just for about an hour today and already sort of started to see some ways that I think I wanna use this. The first is, I like how I can um, set this setting up right here right now using Zoom. I'm using Zoom software right now to to do this. And what I'm doing is I logged into Zoom and then I did a share my entire desktop screen. And so when I hit share entire desktop screen, it put my picture here in the corner, which is kind of fun. Um, and then I also have this whole desktop that I can write on and do stuff. So, all right, I, I, I got the XP pen plugged in. It plugs into the HDMI port and a USB port. And that USB port um, also powers the thing, which is great. But anyway, um, I tried to play with this using sort of the 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 um, the whiteboard that's built into Zoom. It looked really ugly. I don't know if it was just me, but I, it looked kind of terrible. So I wasn't a fan of that. And then I also started using Notebook, and Notebook also, in my opinion, looked kind of ugly. So I I looked up something else, and I found something called Sketchbook. So I'm going to open that right now and show you sketchbook and just a couple of the settings that that i use now when i first opened sketchbook it created a canvas for me and um it's uh i i already been playing with it so actually in the bottom corner here you can see where i have um uh, a little color palette there uh but if you click on it it gives you some more options but i like hitting this little color wheel in the upper right hand corner there and then it gives me a cute little palette now of course you can add or there's different color palettes they have available but i, I like the ones that are there so for instance so i started with blue now if i just wrote on the canvas that it already had right i'm using the regular pencil tool and actually i already found that i like the pencil tool with a hardness of about five and then you notice if I click on that and I click on this little settings things, it gave me some options. I like the pencil tool, but there's others, right? There's like a paintbrush and that one to me looks kind of weird. I don't know what, I don't know. Is that a paintbrush? Maybe there's some way that it looks better. I don't like it. And there's a calligraphy pen, right? And um, I like the calligraphy pen a little bit that's built in a notebook, but this one, I don't know. You can play with it um, and uh, it's okay. But again, this is called sketchbook. Whoops sketchbook um if you want to see that there so anyway the calligraphy pen kind of works too and well one of the things that's cool about this um device is it has this click wheel um right here this kind of red click wheelie thing i don't know which one you you're gonna get but this guy has a click wheel where i can quickly like zoom in and out and um one of the things that i found is that if i zoom in too much it looks that looks terrible that's ugly like i don't uh, that's worthless to me so one of the things that i found already is that when i'm first setting up my flipbook to do anything here i'm not going to save that's trash i i set the image canvas size to something humongous right it defaults to the size of your screen itself but if i did 5000 to 5000 then this will allow me to kind of like zoom in and out of what's going on here all the time and still have a nice canvas i'm going to use the pencil cuz like i said i already found that i kind of like the pencil but let me zoom in just enough and let me say i was to talk about let's talk about ap statistics now well, actually i'm going to zoom in a little bit more it also makes um by default it also kind of makes the brush size a little bit larger um i've already started playing there's there's all these little hot keys on the side too there's eight of them and i already found that the third from the bottom allows me to then just sort of move my canvas around if i hold that down and then i use the cursor it turns into a hand to move things around which is kind of cool i've already kind of gotten used to that um and also the on on the pen that came with it the the there's like two clicks like the top clicky button is for like right click the bottom clicky thing turns your pen into an eraser and i found you kind of have to have the pen close to the screen and then it turns it into a eraser like that and it's it's like a so soft eraser too which i think is kind of cute um but uh, i'm going to zoom in just a little bit more right and then let me write stuff i'm going to say say i want to do something for my ap stat class be like so here's ap statistics formulas formulas right and um let's say i was to write a formula let's say this formula had to do with the probability of the union of two events let me call one event event a the other event event b and like i'm like switching to colors here really quick i'm already having way too much fun right and then i know that that would be equal to um the prob the probability of something let me move this guy out of the way. See, like how I can move myself too? I think that's kind of fun. Plus the probability of another something minus, uh, let me do my little thingy here. 
the probability of something intersect something, right? And so now I'm gonna go and add in all my colors, be like that's A, that's A, and then this was B, and that was B, right? So that's kind of fun. And then if I use my, my, uh, my wheel, like I can zoom in and out of that in different kinds of ways, and now I'm gonna move the canvas. So say I wanted to depict that in a nice way, like I could, um, uh, let me go, all right, I got my pencil. Let me pick another color. Let me just use black here, right? Black kind of looks like the other ones. One of the nice things here is it sort of, it almost writes like a real pencil. I mean, it, it like re, it reacts to the things um, nicely. So here's a, here's another cool trick that I already discovered. Say I just drew a circle. Like actually, that's not bad, you know? And there's a nice undo shortcut, but that's also a pretty good circle. But there's also this cool like predictive, um, there's a couple of different like predictive features. Like this guy's more predict, um, that sort of adjust how you do things. I already found that I kind of like this guy. I don't know what is exactly what it's called, but it's said somewhere. But anyway, check this out. When I draw a circle, it kind of, ooh, it fixes it just a little bit. Like it's not a perfect circle, but it makes it just a little bit better than what I actually did. And so that's kind of cool. So if let's say I, I called this event A, and it can do that with my text too, but anyway, that didn't do too much there. Say this is event A. Ooh and I was trying to represent A union B, then I could shade that in, and then there's B. I could shade in, say, all this, and I'd shade in like this. Uh, um, I think it's actually, I'm gonna, it's slowing me down just a little bit now. I'll turn off that predictive thing. Oh yeah, when I turn the predictive thing off, it seems to work a little bit better. Anyways, so there's B. And then, um, so if I try to say, what is the probability, ooh, I forgot to label this B, there's B. If I try to figure out, say, what's the probability of A union B, then to, sort of, you get this picture version right here. And then there's other kinds of things. This guy, I think, is um, like a, uh, a highlighter. And let's see if I try to highlight, um, maybe like, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm digging that tool. That's kind of a cool tool here. So if I just said like A, ooh, right? And it responds to kind of how hard you push down, right? So if this is me lightly, this is me really hard. Actually, that doesn't seem like much of a difference at all. Other things like the pencil, if I do lightly or I push really hard, the harder I push, the darker it is. Isn't this kind of neat? Anyway, so already I'm having some fun with this. This So anyway, what do I recommend here? I recommend maybe you download this sketchbook um, software and maybe try to play with zoom and I'll try to help you out with some of that stuff too if um, when the time comes but I'm already having a lot of fun and I can see how I could use this powerfully in some of our lessons so um, guys let me know if you if you watch this and if this was helpful to you um, we're all in this together we're all trying to figure it out I'm already having a great time so uh, hope you're having a beautiful spring break and I'll catch you later let's see here